What's up everybody? Happy fall 2018 and happy almost Halloween. I hope everybody's having a great 2018 so far and uh, is moving along on their yard decorations and their uh, haunt setups and things like that. But just wanted to pop off a quick video. I know I've kind of disappeared for a while and I popped up on uh, Steve's Haunted Yard channel. If you haven't checked his display out this year, you must. It's insane, this crazy sleepy hollow. It's awesome. I, you just go check it out. I, my, my description won't do it justice, but I'm doing some painting work for him this year. And uh, I popped up in a couple of his videos. So I had a couple of people say, hey, where'd you go? And you know, I just wanted to let you know, I'm still alive and I'm still here and I'm still doing creepy stuff. Um, just working on our yard and just haven't pulled out the camera this year and decided to go ahead and do it today. So I wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, what I have going on here at the house. So here we go. So we're just basically, you know, getting kind of all the, the pieces set in the cemetery. We really don't have a lot of that stuff out. Decided this year that we wanted to uh, add some more depth to our columns. Just did some vines on them this year. We just roughly painted them. We're going to go back through probably with some, uh, probably some green UV or uh, black light reactive paint just to make those really pop at night under some of our blue lights. You can see we went back in, added some to our pumpkin columns. We also, you can't see them right now in the daylight, but I went through and added flame bulbs to all of our pumpkins. I just like the look of them this year. The LED ones that flicker. Got our columns up. Got some of our uh, torch holding skeletons this year. These were really fun to try and figure out. And then our big project today has been our fake chain link fence. So this is all plastic, no metal. It's made out of PVC, as well as plastic safety fence. And we also have some fake barbed wire at the top. And this is just one and a quarter inch schedule 40 PC, uh, PVC. So we're gonna bring this all the way down. We just haven't yet, we just have some safety fencing up. But I just wanted to show you kind of the difference because yesterday we painted this side of it and it looks awesome. Needs some rust in there and things like that. But what we wanted to do was we really wanted to kind of create sort of a claustrophobic kind of tunnel sensation when people walk in front of the house. We kind of borrowed that from Steve's Haunted Yard. He did it last year where he basically put a little picket fence up on this side and decorated it. And I mean, he had some kids that, that literally wouldn't even walk down the sidewalk. They were so nervous. So we kind of really liked that. And uh, this was our way of doing it. We do a really heavy zombie theme every year. Uh, we find it's the most kind of universal with the kids and things like that to where we can make it really gross and not so gross. We've got a little electrocute skeleton up there. But I just kind of wanted to show you some of the progress we had on the chain link fence. This is all just PVC. These are the open ends of the PVC where they joined together. We just heated the bottom with a heat gun, bent it, punched a few holes in it. And then we got these really great angled pieces for the top for the barbed wire. Love it. So we're going to get back to doing more of this today and I'll hopefully try and grab some video of it as I'm working on it. But just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here and I'm going to put out a few videos and things like that. Um, so for the subscribers, thank you so much for you know continuing to watch the channel. And, and if you haven't checked out Steve's Haunted Yard, check out his channel. His theme this year is Sleepy Hell. It's absolutely amazing. You can check out some of the props I painted for him over there. And uh, you know. Click like, subscribe, and, and keep following if you want to see some more of our videos. And I hope everybody's having a great Halloween. Bye, y'all.